In this video, we are going to look at some of the basics in determining interstitial lung disease versus gravity-dependent atelectasis, which can sometimes have some imaging overlap. If you look at this CT scan here, you would notice that the posterior vessel regions have somewhat curved in the areas of atelectasis and some possible intervening ground glass changes. While this does have a gravity dependent distribution, if you look at part of the non-dependent portions of the lungs, you can see that a similar process may affect these areas as well. You could also look at the azigoesophageal recess and some unusual areas which are not really gravity dependent which could also have this feature. The second feature is that the bronchoarterial ratios in some of these areas which is the ratio between a bronchus and the adjacent pulmonary vessel can also be elevated. In many centers to further evaluate this and confirm prone imaging is performed and we have a supine acquisition and a prone acquisition. If in the event of gravity dependent atelectasis these changes drop down the opposite side of the lung and in this case they prevail on the non-gravity dependent posterior vessel lungs which in combination with the other features is more confirmatory of an interstitial lung abnormality rather than gravity dependent atelectasis. References containing imaging protocols as well as several other useful information have been pasted below.